G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome back to the studio. Now today, something a little bit different. I do like doing different things every now and then. So what I've got here, this is a very thin little mold. It's for fondants. I think you like push your fondant or icing into that. And then when it's set, then you peel it out. Um, so anyway, this one's leaves. I've got, I have ordered some different shapes of leaves and I've got some ideas what I'm going to do with that. But today, what I'm going to do is I've got this rich gold. It's a metal powder not a not a mica it's a metal powder um, and what I want to do is I'm going to cover this up <laughs> otherwise I'm going to end up with gold in my mold all oh, that rhymes I'm a poet and I don't know it <laughs> all right so to begin with I'm just going to do one of these um, I'm just going to dust in there I've found my smallest little brush that I could just to get in here so I'm not fussed if I make a mess. I'm just going to get it in there. Um, I'm going to do, I only need four, so I'm only going to do four of them. And what I thought I would do is, it's, a, it's like a two-step thing. Um, I'm going to, after I've dusted these, I'm going to pour some uh, clear resin into them. And I'm also going to pour a little bit of clear resin into my coaster mold here. And then once that has set up, I'm going to peel these out and I'm going to lay down some of my gold flakes and I'm going to put these down as well, like put the leaf down into the mold, just dab on some flakes. I'm going to actually like stick them down to the resin so they don't kind of float everywhere because I don't want them floating over the leaf. Um, and then once that's cured, I'm going to mix up some white resin. And um, I'm going to pour that over the back. So it's just, I'm hoping to get just a really delicate, classic, clean look for some beautiful coasters. And uh, that's what I'm going to do. And I may edge them in gold with my gold pen. It'll just, just depend on, on what they look like once they're out. Uh, but yeah, that's the plan. So stick around if you want to see me create those. Um, so I'm just going to do one real quick here for you and then I will turn the camera off because you don't need to see me do four of them. You can see what I'm doing. But yeah, just pick a little little brush that you can get in there within all those little nooks and crannies. Um, and then after I've finished them, I'll take this and I'll tip it upside down just into my bin. Or you can take it outside and give it a blow, get rid of all that excess mica. So that's basically what I've done okay just dust it in there so I'll go and do the do the rest of them and uh, mix up my resin and then I'll come back to you now while I was mixing my resin I was thinking do I put clear in wait for it to set put those in fill it up with white and then or you can do it the opposite way you could do white first then put those in with your gold leaf and then put clear on the top. But it's not as exciting because there's no reveal. So I don't know. I think I'm just going to stick with what I originally was going to do and just do the, um, the clear first. So I've got my, this is my thinnest resin. It's the Platinum Ultra Clear. It's like water, it's really thin. It does take longer to set up though, but because I'm not actually unmolding today, I'm just going to uh, do the first layer. It's, it doesn't really matter. Now I'm gonna pop some in here. That'll be for my leaves, it should be enough. I'm gonna put some in here as well. And it'll just have gold leaf in it. <laughs> It's not going to have a, a leaf in it, <clears throat> but it'll have gold leaf in it. This one seems to have a little bit more than this one. So I basically just want to cover the, the base. So yeah, I thought this way would be nice because then I can actually, you know, do an, un, an unmold and a reveal. Whereas if you're 
putting the clear on top, you know what it's going to look like. <laughs> and I like the excitement. You know, it's like when you're having a baby, you, you wait and see what you're going to have. Well, although I didn't. I found out with each three of mine. <laughs> I found out what I was having because I wanted to get the room ready and, you know, paint the walls and buy the appropriate coloured clothes and all that. So I didn't wait, but I can imagine the excitement of, of waiting and not knowing <laughs> until the actual reveal. So that's what I'm going to do today. Just pop, pop. Pushing it, I was going to say pushing it or popping it <laughs> to the edges like that. Now, there's a few little bubbles, but they should come up. And if they don't, I'll just zap them real quick or get them with my little silicone tool. These are good too. See the little ball on the end? Those, those are really good too. Just for running around the inside like that and dislodging the little bubbles that you have that get collected along the edges there. And then hopefully they'll come up to the surface and they'll either pop on their own or I can, I can zap them with the heat gun. All right, <clears throat> now that's the easy bit done. This is going to be a little bit more tricky, I think. So <clears throat> what I think I'll do is I'm just going to fill them and then, you know, I'll just wipe the excess off. I'll push it across with a, a stick or something like that. Actually, I should maybe put it on a piece of plastic, shouldn't I? Because I'm going to make a mess. I've got a piece of plastic, it's just a, a plastic bag that I've cut up, you know the plastic bags I use for my posting, my shipping, that way, okay, that way when I push the um, resin over the edge it's hopefully not going to make too much of a mess. So here we go, I'm just going to pop some in there and also getting back to like whether you start with white or whether you start with clear. Your leaves are going to have both colours in them. So if you start with clear now and then you demold them um, and pop them into your coaster, when you backfill all that with white, it's still going to have white on the other side because when you unmold these, they're going to have holes in them. Oh my gosh, look at all the bubbles. <laughs> oh, bubble city, bubble city. Oh gosh. Gosh! All right. I think I might get my heat gun out and see if I can just warm the resin enough to get some of those bubbles out because there's there's too many of them, too many of them. Now I'm just going to push this resin into that little stem there. Yep, you're in, you're in. So either way, like you know, it, they're both going to have white and clear on them. Right, let's just heat a little bit. I don't know if it'll help or whether I'm just going to melt my plastic. Nope, not doing anything. All right, I may just have to go in and pop each one. This one hasn't got quite enough to fill it yet. Let's push that there. So basically the resin's gone over the tops of all of these, well, most of them anyway. But that's okay. I've got any left? A little tiny bit. All right, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna grab my stick, I'm gonna get a clean stick. And I'm just going to, I'm just gonna do two at once, isn't it? That's okay. I'm gonna Hold it there and just pull that. See what I mean about the resin going on there? I didn't want it to go on my table. Okay, next one or next two, hold on to the mold. And we're just gonna push that across. All right, how's that looking? One more time. So there you go. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Now, I wonder if I can not. See, that's not even getting those. I'm going to bring you down so that you can see what I mean because I don't know that you can see from up there. But I am going to have to obviously go in and um, get each bubble by hand. Look at them. Look at them. There's so many of them. Look. They look like little gold balls 
But yeah, so I'm going to go, look, that one's got so many. So the heat gun didn't work, the torch didn't work. They're actually lodged down there between those little areas. So I'm going to have to go in and get them all out. So I will do that. Um, I'm going to the markets. I'm going to the Monday markets now, or shortly, um, with my daughter and my mother, my mother-in-law, my sister-in-law, um, Meryn. That have come to visit so I'm gonna do that and then when I get back I should be able to do the next coat so yeah I'm gonna go and enjoy the, the sunshine <clears throat> and have some time off so I will see you guys a little bit later on it's the next day cleaned up my mess <laughs> from my overflow put that aside I'll use that again all right let's have a look at these it was pretty easy to get the bubbles out actually. I just got a toothpick and I just flicked them to the surface. Now let's see if I can get them out. Ah, look, it's coming out. There we go. Look at that. Now I just need to decide what side I'm going to use. Oh gosh, they're not very gold, are they? I guess they are. What side do I prefer? I guess it's because I've put clear in. I, I can kind of see through it. But once they're down, you, you won't. So what we're looking at now is going to be the back, obviously. So whatever side you prefer is going to be, you put face down. Whatever side you prefer, you put face down, okay? So if you prefer it that way, and put it down that way. I don't know. See, to me, it looks more glossy. Let's just do this. To me, this is the side I poured onto, and it looks a little bit more kind of glossy, but then that side is a little bit more, it's more gold, so more gold, more glossy. I think probably this side. If I if I done it the other way and put white <laughs> into, into this, I probably would have got a darker, darker gold it's quite transparent still like that I can see through it but lesson learned all right they're best with colors <laughs> okay so that's the side that I want showing so we'll do we'll do that okay on all of them so that's decided just take them out carefully don't break them they're very thin they're not very thick at all not very thick at all so that's that last one I think it'll still look right. Yeah, it'll be fine. So anyway, that's what, um, what's that? Oh, a little bit of gold. Alrighty, so that's what they're going to look like. Now, the next job is putting the foil down. So let's see if I can just move these into the middle a little bit, like so. So basically what I want to do now is, that's where they're going, or well, that's going anywhere, it doesn't really matter where they're going, you know, it doesn't matter. Alright, so I wonder if this is going to actually stick to the resin, the dried resin. Uh, I don't know if it will. So anyway, I'm just going to kind of, let's see, I don't want it going over the top of my leaf. I just want it kind of here and there. I'm hoping that it'll kind of stick to the resin um, because I don't really want it floating around and going over the top of my leaf. That, that's all. Some, so, see how they're all like this? Well, sometimes they're in leaves like that and you have to kind of separate them. So, whoops. So this is going to take me a little while. <laughs> I hope this is going to look nice. Like I was, the gold's not as gold as I was hoping, but I didn't want like a really, like a really fake yellow gold, I guess. So anyway, I'm just going to do this. I'll do the others. I'm not going to bore you with doing all of them, but just sort of randomly place. We'll have some big. We'll have some small. Just whatever comes out <laughs> on my fingers. Like so. All right, I'm going to do the rest. I'm going to mix up some more resin and then um, we'll do the next step. Righto, so I've done it. 
I remembered, yay, I remembered to do the little one. I always forget my little middle bits. So I've popped in some Angel White, just white pigment paste. That one's from Lores, but any white pigment paste will do. Got it nice and opaque. Two little scoops actually of the paste. This is the Ultra Clear again, and I've got 100 grams of A and 43 grams of B, so 143 grams. Hopefully it'll be enough. Now, in hindsight, as I'm standing there stirring, I'm thinking, wow, it would have been really good for me to be pouring clear in here because I don't know if these are going to move. I don't know if those are going to float. I just don't know what's going to happen because I'm going to cover it in white and I'm not going to have any idea about what's going on underneath. So next time, <laughs> if I do this again, I'll put the white in first, fill the leaves, like paint them gold or dust them gold, fill in white. And then I'll come back and do clear because I'm not going to see if there's any bubbles in here either. And I'm not going to see if they float or anything. So anyway, I always learn things the hard way. I'm just going to put a little bit of resin on there and hopefully it'll flow into all those little nooks and crannies. But yeah, I, I tend to do things the hard way and then I go, oh, I should have done it the other way. But you don't know until you try. But at least I'm showing you. So, I don't know, look, either way, you know, is going to hopefully look good, but I'm just thinking, I am not going to see if this gold floats. I kind of put the gold down and then like broke it up with my finger, so it kind of just gave it a bit more of an organic look, you know, broke it up a little bit, but yeah, I'm not going to see if there's any bubbles in there or not at all. So, it's going to, <laughs> the reveal is going to be a surprise, that's for sure, because I don't know if this gold's going to float. So, you know, you could have done it when the resin was a little bit tacky, um, and then your gold leaf would have stuck down. But I didn't. And I don't even know if I'm going to have enough resin here. We'll see. Oh, look, we can still see through it, but look, oh, the gold's floating. Some of the gold's floating. What if it... Oh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Gosh, gosh, I'm not concentrating. I was too busy watching what this was doing to see if it was floating and <laughs> I put too much in there. And look, I'm not gonna have enough. Probably only needed like another ounce. So, yeah, um, I guess I guess I'm not really going to get the look I'm wanting because the gold, the gold's floating around in there. It's going to float around in the white, kind of give it like a speckledy look, and it's quite light, so it's going to float. Bummer! I should have done it the other way, you guys. Oh, that's okay. I can do it again. I'll, I'll, I will do it again. I need to, I need to mix up a bit more resin. I do. I'll be right back. Got a little bit more. All right, here we go. And again, I was thinking while I was stirring. Stirring's a great time for contemplation. I was thinking, that's okay. I, I can fix this. You know, there's, there's usually a way of fixing things. Once it's set and cured and unmolded, I can turn them over, mix up some more resin, put a little bit of gold leaf in and just pour a top coat. Because by the looks of it, all my gold's floating and we're not going to see any of it. So yeah, that's okay, that's okay. <laughs> I mean, I'm a little bit disappointed, but um, yeah, I, I've learnt, I always learn. I learn the hard way and we can fix it. So it won't be a problem. Because I don't think it's going to look very nice because it's probably going to look like this with basically white with just a little few little bits of gold poking through, which, you know, well, admit it, you know, it's not going to look ideal, is it? So... Um, yeah, we'll just do a top coat. How's that sound? Sound like a plan, Stan? As long as we use this up. Oh, uh, yeah, ah, you're getting a bit full. Just because I've got it, I think I have to use it, but I don't. I might overflow. 
<laughs> All right, that'll, that'll do. That'll do. Almost used it up. Okay, so basically that's it. Little torch. Right, now I'm going to have to wait another 24 hours, or tomorrow anyway, to unmold these. And we'll see what it looks like. And um, yeah, we can either chuck them in the bin and start afresh, or we can do a top coat with more gold leaf in it. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> All right. It's always fun and games on my channel. You never know what's going to happen, do you? Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. But anyway, this is probably not going to work. We will fix it. I'll see you tomorrow. Right, here we go. Let's unmold these. Let's loosen that. Oh, you're popping out already, Arca. All right, you can be the first one then. <laughs> All right. Now, like I said, I'm not expecting miracles of these. I'm assuming that all the gold's going to float up like that and it's not going to look any good at all. But I did decide I'm going to do a top coat and I'll use those. All right, so we're not going to waste them. Ooh, got a little bit of an overhang there. All right, here we go. Shall we have a look? I might just um, hang on I'm gonna get my little step here we go now I can see what you're seeing move these out of the way so we know what we can focus on here we go here we go here we go oh okay uh, <laughs> look, maybe maybe it's a good look maybe it's a look a different look <laughs> The um, the leaf has kind of, or the re the white resin's gone underneath the leaf on the edges. Look, you know, I actually don't mind it, and and look, I'm not just saying that because I'm um, I've done it. It's just that the white has gone under parts of the gold leaf, and then the white's gone under the the points of the leaf, so it kind of it kind of matches, but. I think what, probably what we should have done is um, when the first layer was still a bit tacky, that's when you go in and put your leaf so it sticks down. That way when you pour your next layer, it doesn't move. Look, that, that's, I, I can live with that, you guys. I can live with that. I'm not even going to do a top cover. Coat. Layer. <laughs> I'm not going to do a top. All right, let's have a look at this one and see if they're all the same. Yes. So I guess the... They must have, like, the leaves must have kind of bent a little bit. No, that's not bad. That's, that's not bad. That's all right. I can deal with that. I can deal with that. There we go again. And I can still see some of the gold leaf. What do you think? It's kind of shabby chic looking. Yeah, we can call them shaggy, shabby chic, not shaggy. What's going on there? I don't know what's going on there. Shabby chic. Let's have a look at this little dude. Oh, he's cute. He's cute. I mean, it's not much going on in there, but he's cute. All right. Um, I'm going to put some gold around the edge. Should I? Should I? Should I? Should I? Where's my gold pen? Um, yeah. Look, not at all, at all what I was going for initially, but, you know, most of the times they never are when I'm trying something new. But, um, yeah, we'll, we'll call these shabby chic. And they're kind of underneath... Where's my little scissors? Where's my scissors? Where's my scissors? Sometimes if the top's going a little bit fluffy, you can just trim them. Oops, there we go. That's better. All right. Let's do... No, not you. Not you. Let's do one of these, shall we? Now, because it's got a nice pointy edge there, it should be easy enough. Just to put a little edge. Can you see that? I'm just putting the edge of that nib on the on the corner there, on the on the edge, top edge. I may have to just actually go and get my blotting paper and oh no, it's okay. Sometimes you've got to, you know, blot to get it your colour to come down. I'll just shake it. 
So we'll do one and we'll see what we think, okay? It's much easier to do when you've got that sharp 90 degree edge because you just put it in, into the nib there, into the center, and it kind of makes a little, well, it stays. It makes a little hole there and it stays, so. There you go. Just make it a little bit thicker. And then, of course, if you wanted to, you could do the sides, but I always just tend to do the top so I can see what it looks like. There you go. What do we think? That's with the gold, without the gold. I, I like the gold edge. I do like the gold edge. Just finishes it off. Right. So I'm going to do the rest of them. Let me know what you think, whether you think it's a fail or whether you think it's okay. But yeah, just having the white that's gone under some places and not on others, I think it's okay. I think we can actually get away with it. And people would say it's supposed to be like that. <laughs> so you can put your coffee cup on that. Yeah, you could. Not just yet. You know, wait, wait a few weeks. Um, but of course, if you use the um, the high temp resin, which I didn't do, but I should because I've got lots of it over there. And then um, yeah, you can put hot things on it straight away. Look at the top. Can you see how shiny that is? Look at that. But yeah, if you wanted to, you could do the whole edge. Um, I I may do actually, just so that I can. I have to do a little bit of sanding then. I may do, just so they look pretty in the photos. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to set it up for a photo shoot for you. And um, see what you think. I, I reckon they're okay. They, they're growing on me. They're growing on me, you guys. They are. They are. I thought it was going to be a total fail. I thought I was going to have to redo it. I've got these sitting here ready to go. I thought, yep, I'm going to have to redo it. But I actually quite like them now. They're growing on me. Right. I'm going to go move on to the next project. Got some exciting things coming up. Got new moulds coming up. So keep an eye out for those. And uh, I will see you all again real soon for the next video. So take care. Love you all. Bye for now.